Who are the best travelling fans in the championship? That's going to be the topic of today's video. Using data from the 72, I've gathered each championship club's average away following this season and ranked them all from 1 to 24. And let me just say, there are a few surprises in here. Now, if you've not already seen, I have already ranked championship away fans that came to Deepdale this season on my own personal opinion of them. So if you've not seen that video, make sure to check it out. But this video is going to be a little bit more data driven. As always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Who do you believe to be the best and worst away fans in the championship but without any further ado let's jump in no real surprises at the bottom of the table it is Rotherham with an average away following of just 743 fans have to commend all the Millers fans that did stick by that squad to the bitter end this season especially those traveling week in week out a squad that was rooted to the bottom of the championship for the vast majority of the year and a team that didn't win any single matches on the road all season. The only championship club not to win any matches away from home this season. They picked up just four points and in 23 away matches only scored 13 goals. Those sort of stats are why I can't blame Rotherham for being bottom of this list and if anything, I commend the 743 who are watching that every other week. 23rd on this list, it is Swansea City with an average away following of just 926. Generally speaking, Swansea were actually all right value for money away from home this season. Tended to be a solid sort of mid-table side with the results they picked up away. You'd argue Swansea being lower down on this list is more a result of where they are in the country really. Speaking from a Preston fan's perspective, Preston to Swansea is an absolute trek and I'm sure Swansea fans feel that way about a lot of the away grounds they have to visit every season. 22nd on this list, it's Millwall with an average away following of 1,111 fans. Never tend to take the biggest followings, especially to those northern games, but games based in the south, Millwall are always quite decent and they do definitely have a really solid core group of away fans who will be there most weeks and definitely among the more unique set of supporters in the championship I think it's fair to say with the sort of atmosphere they generate. 21st on the list this season it's actually Huddersfield Town with an average away following of 1,165. Those numbers have definitely taken a dip for Huddersfield compared to previous campaigns in the championship. In years gone by I've seen Huddersfield away fans being at times among some of the best in the league for me but this season on the back of a relegation campaign struggling to pick up many points away from home you can understand why they're down there 20th on this list it's Cardiff with an average away following of 1312 not bad numbers by any means I reckon if you're averaging over 1.3k you've got a decent court of away fans but Cardiff, where they are positioned, it is quite a trek to a lot of away grounds, which will lead to some dwindling numbers in some cases. Blackburn are 19th on this list, slightly higher than Cardiff, with an average away following of 1,326. Hasn't always been a great campaign for Blackburn this year, but eventually getting over the line, I'm sure that away game at Leeds right at the back of the season being one of the highlights for Blackburn away fans this season. Tend to get quite a bit of stick Blackburn fans for the amount of empty seats at Ewood Park on a weekly basis and things like that, but generally speaking, their away fans always tend to be fairly solid. 18th on this list, we've then got Hull City with an average away following of 1,389. Honestly, a little bit surprised that Hull was so low down on this one. In recent years, we've seen a real boom with home attendances at Hull City. And while the away numbers have slightly picked up, they've not risen anywhere near close to the same percentage as the home fans have in recent years. 17th on this list, we've got Bristol City with an average away following of 1,408 away fans this season. Bristol City, not always the best on the road this season, just six away wins for them all campaign, but solid numbers regardless. In 16th on this list, we've then got QPR with an average away following of 1,424. Always good numbers, QPR, for a lot of the Southern games. It's just those ones that are a little bit further than that up north where the numbers tend to dwindle a little bit more but still averaging more than 1,400 I think is really decent going. In 15th place we then got my side Preston North End with an average following of 1,469. Definitely think that home atmosphere is something that definitely could still be worked on with Preston but generally speaking I think we usually tend to be really quite solid away from home both in terms of the number 
numbers we take and the noise we tend to generate as well. Based on this season, it's Watford fans who are in 14th with an average away following of 1,473 away fans. On the road this season, Watford tended to be quite decent as well. They only lost eight away matches all season, which is really decent going. 13th on this list, we've got Norwich with an average away following of 1,570. Away form is something that Norwich have never really seemed to crack under David Wagner. This season, based on away matches, Norwich would be 19th in the table, which is quite crazy, really. It is quite the trek as well from East Anglia to a lot of the other grounds in the Championship, so fully commend that core group of about 1,500 who are there most weeks. Then from 12th upwards, this is where we start to get into some of the bigger numbers and really quite consistent fan basis in terms of the travelling numbers that follow their clubs each week. In 12th place, we've got West Brom fans with an average of 1,800 and 23 obviously the position of the country they're in West Brom are in a really good position to travel to the vast majority of away games and they back that up with an average following of over 1.8k 11th we then got Plymouth and based on their proximity to other championship clubs I go as far to say that they're perhaps amongst the best set of away fans in the championship really good numbers whether that's games down south or ones up north good amount of noise they tend to generate as well obviously new to the championship so a lot of fans wanting to tick off a lot of new grounds this season I'm sure but Despite Plymouth being a bottom three side this season based on their away form, the travelling numbers never really seem to wilt as a consequence of that. Always back in their side and despite the ridiculous travelling distances that that fan base needs to do, they're always there on a weekly basis, over 1.8k of them, which is really impressive. In 10th place, we've got Middlesbrough, another set of fans that I always find to be really quite good, especially when they're at Deepdale, but based on the travelling distances that that fan base has to do really impressive that they managed to crack the top 10 of this list with an average way following of over 1.8k when borough fans are properly in the mood definitely among the best in the championship ninth on this list and just under 2k on average it's stoke city considering how let's face it crap they were for a lot of this season that is really impressive obviously stoke in a very good position of the country to travel to the vast majority of away matches but at just under 2k i mean since they've been back in the championship i think stoke have been among some of the most consistent away fans in the league eighth place we've got birmingham despite being relegated to league one blues fans would always travel in really consistent numbers on average 2.1k this season for birmingham on the road ultimately it was their away form which ended up sending them down as well they only accumulated 14 points on the road all season which was the second worst away record in the championship only won three matches and only scored 19 goals away from St Andrews in seventh place and just missing out on the top six it is Southampton really impressive considering where they're located in the country and especially the traveling distances between Southampton and some of those northern games that, that set of fans um, have to get to 2.2k on average this season for the Saints. I was really impressed with them when they came to Deepdale earlier this season. That game was a midweek match but still came with really consistent numbers. As we then get into the top six, this is where we get into some of our usual suspects. In sixth place this season, it's Coventry City with an average away following of 2,386 travelling fans. Coventry quite well known now as one of the best sets of away fans in the championship probably really consistent noise and traveling numbers that follow along with them fifth place is Ipswich Town with traveling numbers of 2575 considering some of the vast distances that that fan base has to do that's really impressive. Great set of fans they brought to Deepdale this season, I thought. Probably the most I've ever seen Ipswich bring to Deepdale, um, actually, the amount of fans that they brought this season. From the off, there was really good vibes around Ipswich this season. I think the fans hooked onto that from the off, really. Obviously, sellout crowds at Portman Road week in, week out, and doing that on the road as well is really impressive, and I'm sure there'll be sellout crowds each week in the Premier League now. Now, I have to admit, there's really not a lot to separate these top four sides in fourth place it's Sunderland with an average away following of 2,601 travelling fans and some of these numbers in the top four will slightly be influenced by 
the amount of tickets allocated to each fan base in a select match, they will be different on a game-by-game -game basis. But yeah, there's no doubt in it. Sunderland are some of the best away fans in the championship. They do have to travel huge distances in terms of where they're located in the country. But whether it's a game down south or a midweek, you'd always back them to sell out that allocation, wouldn't you? Third on this list, it is Leicester City with an average away following of 2,671 away fans. Leicester, really from the off, were on a bit of a party promotion hunt this season. It was obvious from the get-go that they were going to be the outstanding side in the league this season. Having been in the Premier League for so long, I think a lot of that fan base was keen to explore a lot of new championship grounds this season. And they got to do just that in the end, winning the championship and bringing a massive away following in the process. Just missing out on the top spot, it's then Sheffield Wednesday with an average away following of 2,707 fans. And given the state that that club was in especially for the first half of the season that is absolutely unbelievable i've already said it in a video previously but sheffield wednesday fans were definitely amongst the best to come to deep dell this season that's when they were well rooted into the bottom three as well took a sellout allocation to preston on a friday night i think that was that club and fan base has so much potential if harnessed in the right way and those traveling numbers back that up but were you expecting anything else of course topping this list it is Leeds United with an average away following of 2,758 fans. Getting a ticket for a Leeds away match can be a little bit like gold dust at times. Selling out away allocations week in, week out. Leeds really are quite unique with how invested that fan base is and don't get me wrong they have had a fair few slips on the road this season that set of fans always seems to have stuck by this team this season and if they do get to Wembley in the playoffs you can bet they'll sell out that allocation but guys there you have it that will not wrap it up for today's video thank you very much for tuning in there was every championship club and their away following this year drop a like if you went on to enjoy but other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one